Hello and welcome to Thermomix. My name is Chef Martin Yu, and today we're going to teach you how to do the Shiopan Japanese salted bread um, with the help of our TM6. The Shiopan recipe is actually adapted from the killer toast which you can find with our Perfection with Thermomix in 7 days booklet right here. It's a brand new booklet so go out and get it. Okay, should we begin? Let's do this. Alright, with the Thermomix it's very very easy to knead a bread dough. For example here, I'm going to put in the egg. Let me call up the scale. Alright. And then we're going to add our milk. Alright. And then we're going to add in our sugar. and our yeast and then we're going to give it a mix for just about a minute and a half okay so I will take off the scale call on our timer which is one minute and a half and at about speed two and off we go now during the course of this show I will be asking a couple of questions um, and give away some wonderful prizes and of course, as you can see behind me, we have bread flour and top flour sponsored by Prima. Right? So you stand to walk away with some of the attractive prizes. Now some of you would say, why would I need a Thermomix? And what can it do for me? Okay? It comes with a built-in scale. All right? It can have a reverse mode, which is good for uh, not only kneading bread, but also for stir-frying, simulating like a stir-frying motion. Right? And the best of all is you don't have to stand there and do the stirring manually. Like if you're making kaya, you set the parameters like the time, the temperature and the speed on stir and off you go. As simple as that. All right? So more information about the Thermomix can be found on thermomix.com.sg. So go check us out right now. Right? Um, so we're almost about there. Then after this, we'll add in the flour the salt and then the butter. Now you're asking me why we keep the butter at the end of the kneading. So when you're trying to develop gluten, you don't want to put anything too oily. Anything like two hands, which are the glutens. When this gets too oily, all right, it's very hard to form. Now as you can see, stops by itself, releases, press, silence. Let's remove the cap and now we carry on with the recipe. All right, we put in our flour. How easy is that, now? Nah? Just pop everything in. The salt, okay. Pop the lid back on. And then we call on our dough mode. It has a dough mode set to two minutes. All right, and off we go. How easy is that? Now, it's very hard to find a machine that can knead dough for you and cook and do everything else in the kitchen all in one appliance. How fantastic is that? And the great thing as well about our weighing scale is that this machine has a one gram accuracy weighing scale so that I can measure with precision when I use the TM6 or the Thermomix 6. All right? Fantastic. Okay. Um, Let's ask a simple question. What kind of flour would be good when you're making bread? Very quickly. Very quickly, the fastest fingers to the trigger. What kind of flour would be good when you're trying to make a bread dough? Very quickly, get onto those keyboards, type in the answer, and then you stand to walk away some fantastic prizes. Okay? Now we have just about one minute left. And then we'll add in our butter. Mm. How fabulous is that? All right. Now, the second question would be, how many appliances can the Thermomix 6 replace in your kitchen? How many appliances can the Thermomix 6 or TM6, as we call it, replace in your kitchen? All right. Come on, you can do it very quickly. Type the answer in, get with it. Ah, winning for yourself some attractive prizes. 
Okay, lots more prizes to give away, and we're already down to 20 seconds. I'm going to have a short peek to make sure, and if I need a hand, I have our spatula, also from Thermomix, non-spill, as you can see, right in there, just stirring it, very quickly move the dough around, okay, oh wow, two seconds, one, and we're done, two minutes up. Now, some of you would say, no, in two minutes? You want to knead dough in two minutes? On normal appliances, it takes at least 12, 15, some, even 20 minutes. Now, let's have a look at this. Wow. Check this out. Huh? Two minutes. Amazing. Okay. So, we'll pop in our butter right now. Clean up a little. Back on there. Pop the lid back on, set another two minutes, and off we go, okay? So you also see the large screen, the operation screen here on the TM6. It's really easy to manage and work it. It's just like a phone where everything is touch screen nowadays, all right? So you just slide it, pick the functions you want, all right? Set the time, the temperature, and off you go. Now the next question we're going to ask you is the Thermomix 6 or the TM6 comes with a weighing scale. What's the gram accuracy? Is it 1, 5 or 10 gram accuracy? Okay, key in quickly your answers and you stand to walk away with wonderful prizes. We already have a couple of winners from the first two questions. Right, so just get on those buttons. Is it one gram, five grams, or ten grams? Okay, I make it very easy for you. All right, if you're not sure, call up thermomix.com.sg and then we'll try to help you answer our questions. Okay, so we're down to about 50 seconds. This is really, really almost done. This is also something brand new the perfection with Thermomix in seven days. It, the, the recipe we're doing is actually the killer toast recipe but I've adapted it also to a Chopin recipe. So all our advisors and users actually learn one recipe and then you're able to create two types of breads with one recipe. Okay? Great. Now you can see the kitchen is really clean, really easy to manage. All right. I'm going to get my... Let's touch that. I'm going to get my... Rubber mat, and then we're going to spread this, okay, really easily. There we go. Now, some of you will say, no, it cannot be done in about four, five, six, seven minutes or so. This is a sort of a soft bun rich dough, okay. Have a look. All right, we did one and a half minutes on simple mix. We did two minutes after we added in the sugar and the yeast. We did another two minutes after we added in the butter. So total, we're doing about, what, seven minutes? Six and a half, seven minutes. Let's see, I take this out, okay. Remove all of that, nothing gets away. Done, okay. Clean as a whistle. <gasps> Power of Thermomix, great. We set it back, and then I'm just going to casually round this off, okay. Into a nice round ball, have a couple of bowls here. Now the thing with the killer mix, the killer toast, sorry, it's been made for busy, busy people, so it only requires one fermentation or one proofing phase, okay. There we go, right there, we'll leave it there. We're gonna put it aside. Now, we're gonna show you what happens, okay? That will take about 10 minute rest. And then now, we're gonna show you the different stages, what's gonna happen. So after you've done the 10 minutes of rest, we're gonna divide it into little rounds, like this, okay? And then from here, we're going to do something special and come up with a shape like this. So how do we do this? You round this and then you just C-shape your hand 
and then press on half of the round and you get like a little droplet. Okay? Stuff like this. Amazing. Okay? So from there, what we're going to do, I like, you can do it the other way around. I like to do it this way around because first, I'm going to spread this out, okay, the base to make sure it's really nice and then I'm going to roll it. As I roll it, I'm going to pull, 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 okay, pull, 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 okay. Then we're going to get our butter right here, okay, fill it in. Now I'm going to put the rolling pin there so I prevent it from moving and then I'm going to bend it a little as I roll it and I tighten it, okay, you see it's done. So, one, how nice is this? Eh? I do one more to show you, huh? Okay. Now we got people dialing in already and say, wow, I learned one recipe, the killer toast, and I can make all this stuff. I said, yeah, you see how easy it is? Okay, just that. I hold it here. I round it off very easily. Killer toast recipe becomes a Chopin recipe. And then you have, wow, two. Easy as that. All right? Leave it there. That comes back. So once you have this, we will prove it. And then after that, we will egg wash it. All right? And then after that, we will put it in for uh, baking. And then we'll show you the end results. Okay? Now, the next question is, why we use Thermomix for kneading bread? Okay? Why do we have, why, why is it good to have a thermal mix to knead bread? I mean, some of you would say, oh, I have kitchen mixes, I have food processors, I have so many things. Give us your best reason for having a thermal mix to knead bread. Okay? Right? Get on those phones. That's the last one for now. And then type in your answers. The best answer will walk away once again with all those attractive prizes brought to you by thermal mix and Prima Flour. Good? Okay, so let's do a bit of egg washing as we prep the oven. Okay, I just put on the oven here, right on. Okay, oven's ready. All right, we're gonna do some egg wash very quickly. Okay. Right there, you see stuff you can do at home for the busy adult users, end users, really something easy to make with one proofing or one fermentation phase, okay? Knead it, mix it, shape it, put it in, and then off you go into the oven, all right? So we're going in the oven right now, and then after that, we'll show you what the end result is, okay? So any questions, do get in touch with us at thermomix.com dot s g right Ooh. right so we've got all the dough and the buns all in the oven okay so in the interest of time we've made some buns and a loaf even just for you to see okay now how beautiful is that right one recipe the killer toast recipe from perfection with turbo mix in seven days the basic stuff all advisors and end users should use once you purchase a Thermomix, right, for you to really get into the function of the TM6. And the killer toast with the single proofing time, all right, single proofing phase gives you, if you want, a loaf. Mm. Or you can even, like what we do, adapt it and make it into crescent buns filled with butter inside. How wonderful is that? Eh? So. We hope to see you again in all our future demos and Facebook Live events. Do get in touch with us, okay? 
This has once again been the pleasure of the Thermomax 6 TM6 and we're looking forward to see you in the near future. Thank you and bye-bye.